Welcome to the Ground 4 News. Time right now is 4.15. A shot of the Golden Gate Bridge. You'd almost never guess there was a storm this morning. Blue skies, but take a look at how much rain fell this morning. Over the past 24 hours, we've had more than three quarters of an inch of rain in Santa Rosa, more than an inch in Napa. And in Mill Valley, we actually exceeded the two-inch mark over the past 24 hours. Close to about an inch fell in SFO and in Oakland. And in San Jose, more than about a half an inch fell. So right now, Storm Tracker 4, big difference on your radar, mostly dry, still seeing a few isolated showers. And in fact, as we take it up to the North Bay, we're actually seeing some reports of some flood flurries right now up in some of the hills there. In fact, if we widen it out, we've continued to see just some, a few uh, snow showers there. It looks like up in the hills uh, just to the east of Calistoga. Also, we've continued to see uh, snow fall up there through Lake County as well. But elsewhere, really just starting to dry out, just seeing some spotty showers through the Livermore Valley. And as we widen it out, all of that wet weather now pushed off to the Sierra. So continuing to see snowfall coming down along I-80 and 50 at this current hour. So here's a look at your winds. We've actually continued to see some pretty strong winds out there. About 23 mile an hour winds at SFO, 24 in Oakland and also into Napa, right on through uh, the Delta as well, and about 21 mile an hour winds in through Hayward. We do have, still in effect, a winter weather advisory. Now it's in effect for the East Bay Hills and the Diablo range. So it looks like we could continue to see a chance of some snowfall um, up above 3,000 feet at about four inches. Below 3,000 feet, looks like we could accumulate anywhere between two to four inches of snowfall, but still expect some slick roadways uh, up there on the hills if you're driving at some of those higher elevations above 1,000 feet. If, if you're below 1,000 feet, it doesn't look like snowfall is actually going to stick. We also have a lot of cool air rushing in, so we have a freeze advisory in effect for the North Bay Valley locations for tomorrow morning. So it looks like really the early morning hours, temperatures dipping down into the 20s overnight. So it's certainly going to be a really chilly night. Right now, it looks like we're going to see a lot of this cool air kind of ushering in as we head on through the day. So it looks like uh, we're going to see that kind of mixture of the cold air and a little bit of that lingering moisture, and that's what's going to lead to some of the snow at some of the lower elevations. Right now, here's your current temperatures, 47 for San Francisco, also into Redwood City. We're at about 50 degrees for Santa Rosa, 48 in San Rafael, but temperatures continuing to drop, and they will do so as we head into the next couple of nights. In fact, take a look at the overnight temperatures uh, for your Saturday, getting down to 27 degrees in some of the colder locations, 23 on your Sunday as well. So Sunday is really going to be uh, the cold night. Pam? Well, let's take a look at Wall Street today. The Dow